you want to get really good at explaining key pieces. So what are key pieces in a set? Well, key pieces are the pieces within a set that really make it unique. And so it doesn't necessarily mean they're the best or everyone's favorite or even the knives they're going to use the most. Most customers are going to use a trimmer, a spatula spreader, a petite carver, a paring knife, a shaft knife. Those are the ones they'll use the most. But the key pieces are ones that really differentiate the set from maybe the option that comes before it. Let me give you a few examples. If you want to get really good at selling homemaker sets, learn to love the butcher knife and the carving set. Those three pieces, along with a few extra table knives, are the difference between a galley set and a homemaker set. So we want to get really good at unpacking those three pieces. You have something like your butcher knife. Well, sure, they don't use their butcher knife to butter their toast, or at least hopefully not. But when they're doing ribs, when they're doing a melon, if they do barbecue, they start getting into doing bigger poultry and things like that. It's going to be such a handy piece. If they have corn cobs and they want to split them in half, that butcher knife is the perfect weight and feel. There's so many times where it's going to be handy, but if you don't help set their focus, if you don't help them think forward a little bit, they miss out on the value they would get from having that piece. For the carving knife, you want to try and give as many uses as you can. Educate and inform yourself. Hey, Mrs. Jones, what's great about the carving knife is when you are doing that turkey around Thanksgiving or whoever in your family does it. You know, people spend so much time doing that or so much money buying it if they don't feel like cooking it themselves. Boy, you want to get every bit of meat off that bone. And that carving set is going to make it so much easier. Okay, you're going to get those nice clean slices of turkey, however you like it. It's not going to rip and shred and tear it up where you just sort of lose the texture or the look that you're really going for. Even if, if you only use that a couple times a year on your bigger cuts meats or your turkeys, well, you're going to be so glad that you have it. Hey, by the way, that carving fork, let me tell you, that thing is also amazing. The carving fork is so good for holding things down, but if you pair it with the turning fork, that smaller one that's made for picking things up, you can use it to put one on either side of like your briskets, your roast, your turkeys, and transfer food. You just put a handle on either side, which is really great. I love taking the two forks together for shredding my pulled pork or brisket, and uh, it's just so handy to have. You're going to love having that carving fork. By the way, that really long nine-inch carver, not only is that going to be great for your turkeys and the larger meats, but it's a heck of a good watermelon knife too. Honestly, in a pinch, that's a really great one because it's really long and has a thin blade, so it has an easier time going through that thicker rind. Those are examples of some ways, and you can just steal some of those lines, to talk about a few key pieces from the homemaker. So what are the key pieces from the homemaker to the signature? Well, really, all the extra pieces are key pieces. So with the signature set, you add on the super shears, you add on the petite santoku, the hearty slicer, and the cheese knife. By the way, if you don't go off on the cheese knife in every single demo, boy, you're missing the boat. It's not just for cheese, it's for anything moist, sticky, or starchy. Cheese, potatoes, apples, pears, cucumbers, tomatoes. For CSPs in the field, that's the number one one selling piece that they actually promote to customers. So you should be promoting the heck out of that knife right there. Um, you should be promoting the heck out of the Petite Santoku. Hey, Ms. Jones, the Petite Santoku was so great, all right, because that, that big chef knife that comes in the homemaker set, boy, that sure is handy, but there's sometimes you just don't need a blade quite that long. Customers wrote in and said, boy, I like having that, but if I'm just making a little salad for myself or doing some light chopping, it's a little bit overkill. So that five inch length is really, really convenient to have. It's a Japanese style chef knife. If you watch Rachel Ray, uh, or Giada, any of the cooking shows, that is always the one that comes out and it's super, super effective. The Hardy Slicer, that is the big boy utility knife. And that is for any of the really tough jobs. It's a thick, heavy blade with a double D edge, but it's not too long. So you can use that on sweet potatoes pork shoulder, the joints on ribs, jicama, things like that. It is amazing and it's going to do an incredible job. Now, obviously the super shears are great. Of course, we'll give those away as a, a uh, buy now bonus a lot of times on a homemaker. So maybe that doesn't cause as much separation, but you should still definitely promote them. When it comes to the complete set, okay, getting really comfortable talking about the complete set is key and knowing your key pieces on that makes it that much easier. The things I like to stress about the complete set is that it's the peace of mindset. That's the set that most of our customers end up with eventually. Some just take advantage of the bigger discount of doing it all at once. Some people work their way up uh, to it over time and build up to it through our upgrade program. But let me tell you about the key pieces for this. There's kind of three things, three areas I like to highlight on that. First off is the barbecue knives. Now you don't have to get super specific on this, but the boning knife and the meat cleaver. Hey, Miss Jones, I don't know if you guys ever grill or barbecue, but that complete set comes with our barbecue knives and it's amazing. It really is the carnivore set and our customers absolutely love it.
Being able to promote barbecue, carnivore, that sort of thing for a lot of your clients, it really hits a sweet spot. The other two I really like to promote are the vegetable knife, the veggie cleaver, and the salmon knife, also known as the thin slicer. Now, all the extra pieces in the complete set are great. By the way, people should get the complete set just because it comes with a four-inch paring knife. That's how good that knife is. But getting all the pieces in the family set plus adding on those extra ones there, are you kidding me? It's unbelievable. So how do I like to explain those? Well, hey, Miss Jones, that veggie cleaver, I don't know if you ever try to do squash or things like that. It's one of the number one questions we get. That squared blade is nice and long. You can pop in it, grab it with two hands, and just rock your way through it. If you ever see someone like fighting their way through something, we hate to see that. That's not really safe. You should never have to fight it like that. You just want to use two hands and just get leverage to rock your way through it. It's amazing. Now that salmon knife, sure, we made it for fish and it's unbelievable for that. But with the salmon knife, it is going to do such a great job on things like watermelons, things like cantaloupes, honeydew. Uh, it's so thin and flexible, you can bend it on the board and, uh, and you can literally not only cut through it, but you can fillet the rind right off there. Now, you also want to promote the extra table knives. Guys, no one ever has enough table knives up front. That's one of the most common things Cutco owners buy down the road when they meet with a CSP or they meet with one of y'all a couple years after they bought for the first time. They think they're getting enough, but a family of four having four table knives is, is hilarious. It's not even close. A family of four having eight table knives I don't think is even enough. Unless you're doing the dishes literally after every meal and you run the dishwasher twice a day, you're going to burn through those no problem at all. So you should definitely highlight the fact that they're going to have the right number table knives for their family by looking at getting a bigger set. Now, one last little tip when it comes to those key pieces. We've got some great videos you can utilize with your customers, whether you're doing a demo in person or doing a virtual appointment. When you finish the names and uses on the homemaker, guys, just text them the link to this video. And uh, it's super great because it goes through those extra key pieces from the family set. Plus, it highlights a couple ones from the complete set. And that's a really great way to just introduce the concept. Here's the important thing to understand, though. By showing the bigger sets really confidently and making the case for why it's a logical decision for a lot of customers and a lot of families, what happens is that you're getting this great comparison effect, okay? And the comparison effect is basically this. When you look at these two lines right here, the line in the center, is that a big line or a small line? I'm willing to bet most of you probably said it's a big line. Now, I would agree, just so you know. Now, let's try this one more time. That one in the center, is that a big line or a small line? Well, again, most of you probably said it's a small line, and I would agree with that, just so you know. But the line never changed. What changed was the comparison effect. This is a little psychology for you. What changed was the context, was the wrapping, was what it was surrounded by. It literally changes the way you perceive it. So let me ask you guys, is the homemaker a big set? I don't know. Maybe for you and your customers it is because it's the biggest thing that you ever show with any level of confidence. But if you actually want to go on a CSP level, if you want to close on big sets or just sets overall more, more consistently by letting them see that, now all of a sudden the homemaker, you framed it, it's just the basic sets, eight knives and two forks. It's a very logical choice. And so your drop down to galleys and other sets, it's so seamless and it's going to be so much simpler that way.